Hi, um, this is William from PCTestClass.com and PCTestClass.co.uk and this video, uh, in the next few minutes, I'm going to show a new latest multifunctional computer power supply testers which test both PCs and laptops. Alright, now first let's take a look at this nice multifunctional PSU testers. Alright, we can see a large LCD screen with some LEDs, different voltages, indicators. Alright, and this this is a multifunctional PSU tester which tests both desktop computers and also let we can see the connectors here. The large connectors, 2024 pins, are for desktops and also for SATA hard drive. Uh, okay, the SATA devices, and also here we have four pins, eight pins. All right, four pins, six pin, eight pins, PCIe Express connectors, and for all other power connectors on the motherboards. Okay and also a standard DVD ROM power connectors as well alright and this is the SATA one okay and in addition to this desktop computers power connectors we also have a very nice laptop DC jack Yeah, th this is the one. We can connect the laptop DC jack to that, and it will show us the voltages information. It is either over voltage or lower vo under the vo lower voltage. Okay. Now I'm going to show. I prepare a standard laptop power supply unit. Here is a standard ASUS laptop power adapter, AC power adapters. Okay, this is it comes with a blue LED indicating the power is on. Okay, and at, on the other end it is just a standard DC jack. All we need to do is connect the DC jack to the Multifunctional P PSU testers, DC jack connectors. Right. We can hear a creepy sound with blue nice screen turns on. Okay, this is a 90 volt power adapter is actual current uh, 18 uh, actual voltage is now 18.9 okay so this is really neat it will indicate that oh, okay uh, 18.8 okay so this is within the spec working power adapters all right I also prepare another one which allows us to manually configure different type different voltage values from uh, as low as I believe 12, 12 volts until 24. Okay, and we will try to see to test that as well. Okay, right now we go ahead to unplug the DC jack. Oh, uh, one precaution is that multifunctional power supply testers we only hold both four on the sides. Okay, on the te tester both sides. We don't hold it in the middle or pressing the screen. Otherwise we will probably damage the LECD components in there. Okay, so make sure whenever we hold it, the PSU tester, we hold it from the end. No matter, I mean on both ends, both sides. Okay, uh, when we are connecting, testing that desktop computers or, you know, 
PC laptops we, we always hold at the edge, not in the middle on top of the LCD screen. All right. All right now I'm going to show. I also have a here it is a another power supply AC, uh, laptop AC adapters. Okay, which allow us to configure. from 12 v 15 16 18 19 20 until the 24 so we can push the bottom to select different voltage okay and we will try to test one by one and see which one will trigger the alert the standard one is 19 voltage and let's try this first okay all right again we hold on on the top and, and the bottom both side okay and connect the DC jack here okay and this one it actually shows 18.6 this is still okay 18.5 to 19.5 it is within the uh, standard range for 19 voltage power adapters All right, and right now I would like to change the value. Let's start from, for example, like 18 voltage. We push the bottom, okay, 18. It will show 17.5. Okay, yeah, it is about right. Okay, and then we will keep going down to 16 to, to see if we get the audio alert or any kind of visual alert to promise okay we move we will try push this again okay now to 16 right okay this is 16 voltage 16 indicating 15.8 voltage figure with free LLL for low voltage okay so this is a, also we heard the BB sounds audio alert and visual alerts everything else so there's no need to go under 15 or 12 we go back to try the 20 okay push this button back to 18 okay audio alert is gone and, and okay let's see 1920 okay now we are at the 20 20 voltage 20 V okay the last one 20 V okay and we have 19.5 19.6 okay and then audio alert stopped and also the flashing LLL are gone okay and next we will try to do is try the 24 the highest voltage and see what happened here okay 20 okay oh uh, well this is 24 actually 24 oh okay it seems like the power test to shut down itself to protect the circuitry sure we are on the to at the 24 right the top 24 voltage we'll give a try again All right, LCD on, showing 24.9. Okay, and then it will shut down itself to protect the high voltage. Okay, all right. So let's do this quick, quickly again to make sure we look at the lower right corner. They will be showing the actual 24.9 V, as well as three H H H H indicating high voltage. Okay, L indicating low voltage any spec out of 19V standard laptop AC adapter ratings the, this PSU tester will, will promise the alert both audio and visual alright look at this 23.8 okay 3 edge flashing okay and then you will finally turn it, turn it off to protect the circuitry in there okay and again when using this 
multifunctional this multifunctional PSU tester do not hold the LCD screen okay do not hold it this way and then connect the power connector we probably will pressing too much force on the LCD screen and damage the component in there all right so just hold the side okay that will be good enough all right hope this helps all right right now I will do a further step to take this nice PSU tester apart and see what we have in there please don't do this at your own okay once you break it <laughs> the warranty will be void all right here we see a oh a very nice dedicated component in here all right see we can see the back all our fine funny cut and well welding well welded transistors pins very clean very neat all right and this is very new we can see many virtual days just a few months ago all right and built-in audio speaker LCD screens all high quality electronic components really well made products this is a very well made all right and this is for SATA and this is for standard DVD drive IDE uh, DVD drive or yeah, hard drive or, or DVD RAM right and this is uh, 2024 pins and here is 4 8 or 6 pins PCIe cards CPU accessory or whatever or other power connector on the motherboard okay and this is just to show us power supply testers are made of very high quality transistors and you will risk of damaging the dedicated component in here all right okay and hope this helps any question please let me know all right in this part i'm going to show how to test a desktop standard atx power supply unit psus using the multifunctional power supply testers all right now all right right now <clears throat> all right we we already know this is a main 20 plus 4 so it's a 24 pins main power connectors for to the computer motherboard all right this is the four pins extra probably near the cpus and this is the standard sata sata power connector for the sata hard drive or cd-rom okay and these are the earlier ides all right, four pins, power connectors for earlier ID hard drive and CD-ROM. Okay, and here is the main power cord. Okay, all right. Now let's start it. To all we need when when we are installing the connectors, one common mistake is holding this way and pressing on the LCD screen. Okay, this will bend the components inside. Just make sure we hold both sides. Do it this way not this way okay all right just uh, precautions all right first install the main power connectors we unplug this from the motherboard and then install it over here the largest power connectors on the psu testers all right all right we hear a, a big sounds and friends turning okay all right what we have here is a fishing plus 12v is showing low voltage okay actually this is this doesn't indicating that the PSU is faulty we need to connect the four pins connector as well okay all right four pins are over here okay we we got a lot of connectors here don't push any just not to connect these four pins anywhere we like okay 
we just we need to align the four pins mark here okay so it it is here we go this is the one all right all the alerts are gone and the fresh LED becomes stable 11.8 V now okay so all LEDs are I mean all digits are stable now no flashing okay all right make sure we install this some laptops have uh, sorry some desktop have six pins and eight pins so we install six pin here and eight pins here okay just followed and I with, with the, the marking here all right okay so the next we we will do is um, can also checking the SATA hot hard drive power connectors SATA, SATA connectors have two sides one side have some small cuttings or and marks for cable connections and the other side is print print thread okay when testing when installing the SATA to the this print thread SATA power connector make sure we have this side facing the same way as the LCD screen okay Th this way up not this way this way we probably won't get any reading from the tester okay make sure this side up all right so just all right and now we go to check the LED here both 12V and 5V on both 12V and 5V on which indicates this is a working SATA power connector and we will do the same to test the standard IDs power connectors here okay this one is easier you know because the cuttings at the corners help help us to make the difference which way is on is up which way should be facing on down way down road down work okay here we go and all right the light 12v and 5v also on at the same time so this is a a working IDE power connectors once we unplug it these two lights will go off again hold the side not the LCD oh okay this a little <laughs> okay here we go all right so this these two lights are off now okay if we connect again they were on and then all right so this is very clear all right so it comes with a lot of information and we should go proceed to the menu actually it's just very easy to see 5v if we have a value around 5 a little bit higher 5.1 it is not a big deal it's or a little bit lower like 11.8 just 0 0.2 volt is lower 12 it is okay right and this is power good pg for power good status 274 mini seconds and all these are correct okay so this is a working power supply unit all right hope this helps any question please let me know and this is william again from pctestcard.com and pctestcards.co.uk any common questions or suggestions please tell me all right thanks a lot thanks for watching talk to you later then bye